Hi guys, this is Chani and welcome to my channel and in this video, this. I'm going to show you this. This is a Logitech K860 and this is my first ergonomic keyboard. I'm also an eBay seller. I sell on eBay. And as a seller, there are lots of items that come to, go to me from me. This is the Logitech K60 and this is the Ford K60 that I have and I kept selling it and buying it again. And to be honest, among all the keyboards that I have ever used, this keyboard is the most comfortable. Comfortable because it does its job keeping my wrist at rest like all the time and reducing the stress in my hands. Besides, that is why the ergonomic is made for, to reduce the stress of your hands when typing. This keyboard doesn't look very fancy if you can look at it, it's so gray. Um, but if you are a writer or a coder that puts the hands in the keyboard like the whole day for a living, this keyboard will help you to be more comfortable and prevent carpal tunnel syndrome like normal coder does. For a long time guys, I have been using this Moto Speed Mechanical keyboard for typing and video editing, but it doesn't feel comfortable like this K60. Just imagine, the tip of my wrist holds my hands to keep my hands lifted. I mean, but my hand is not that heavy, but as long as you're putting stress in yourself, you will gonna feel muscle strain, especially if you're doing it for a long period of time or doing it every day. Before we start, I'm going to share the physical specification of this keyboard. Overall picture of this keyboard, it is made of plastic, a good quality plastic, gray plastic that makes it look boring. It looks like it has the same build as the MX Master 3, MX Vertical and Lift Vertical. And if you put this keyboard together with those mouse, it's gonna be look great in your table. I mean, just look at that. They have the same color, they can be connected with only one dongle or the same dongle and uh, just look at that, I love it very much. At the back of this keyboard you will see the battery in the dongle slot, also you will notice the keyboard lifter. This keyboard lifter is different from other lifter because this lifter can lift, can offer you two lift options, the 4 degree and the 7 degree which is good. You have options right? I mean that. If you're not comfortable with the lower, you can get the higher one. It has wrist pad, which is great. The pad has a cushion, and for me, it looks fancy. It feels comfortable, not too hard, not too soft, just modest. The design of the cushion cover is smooth, but it looks rough. And anyways, guys, at the back, there is also the switch button to turn it on and turn it off. You can see in the back the keyboard has its structure to make itself great i mean just look at the keyboard it looks like it's split into two nonetheless it doesn't have the backlight like come on it's basic for modern people to want a backlit keyboard especially who's paying for this price in fact this keyboard is more expensive than the modern mechanical gaming keyboard or maybe the research of its ergonomics has made this keyboard more expensive than regular keyboard or regular mechanical gaming keyboard. But that's not good enough reason to make the backlight feature of the keyboard off. Just look at how comfortable it is. Your wrist is resting on the wrist pad. Look at this. I have here my standard mechanical gaming keyboard and I do need hand lifter here to make my wrist more comfortable. But even though I put things to make my wrist comfortable, I can have the same comfort with, like the K60. In addition, this keyboard is part of Logitech MX series. That's why it has same color and self design with the MX Master and Lift Vertical. There are also some parts of the keyboard that can be modified in function. And the good thing about it is it can be modified on the same app with your Logitech app or your mouse. Once you attach a dangle to the computer, the dangle will ask you to install the Logitech application to your computer and through those apps, you can modify your keyboard according to your preference. The key sound is conveniently silent. Just silent as things. The 
the keys are also easily reachable and it doesn't give you too much stress in reaching. There is just one thing that makes you uncomfortable with the start. The structure of this keyboard is completely different from other keyboard, which is why getting used to it will take longer than normal. Otherwise, I recommend this keyboard to office people or for anyone who uses the keyboard for a living. To recap guys this video, overall the keyboard is perfect for me and the only thing for me that this keyboard is lacking in according to its price is the backlight. This keyboard has no backlight and it's overall plastic. It's better always to have a metal is gonna look and feel durable. So that's it for today guys. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these videos. And if you are interested with this keyboard, I might sell it on eBay. Thank you for watching.